busy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here with another makeup video. And for this makeup look, of course, as usual, we have to start off with our eyebrows because eyebrows define your face, they frame your face, and they're the main thing that you cannot do without. So now I've just gone in with like a black pencil, drawn hairs on all over my eyebrows, and then now I'm just going to go in with concealer. Um, which is the Elegal Pro Conceal Concealer. And this concealer, I'm just using it specifically to define my eyebrows so that they can be more visible on the face. So, and then now, of course, what we want to do is make eyebrows that stay in place. So I'm just going in with a brow gel and I'm using the Rimmel Wonderful Brow Gel. And then now I'm just going to do the eyeshadow base. And for eyeshadow base, I'm just using a concealer, which is the same Elegal Pro Conceal Concealer, and that is the shade Fawn. Now I'm just uh, going to basically apply a black eyeshadow in the crease of my eye because we are doing a cut crease. So the crease that I'm creating has mostly black here. Yeah? So in the crease of my, my eye, I'm just going to apply this black eyeshadow and I'm dabbing it in so that it doesn't smudge badly because black can really smudge. And then now I'm just going to go in to blend it out outward yeah using a dark brow uh, eyeshadow and as i blend it outward i'm doing this very very carefully so that it doesn't smudge again and then now i've taken a really lighter shade of brown and i'm just going to further blend it now towards my eyebrows and then now it's time to create the cut crease now for cut crease uh you want to clean the area first sometimes i don't clean the area but i think it produces a better cut, cut crease if you clean the area first remove any excess eyeshadow and outline the shape of the cut crease that you want and i'm just using this using a, a q-tip or a cotton bud and some micellar water and then now i'm going to take my nyx concealer and i'm just going to outline first make sure that you outline first the shape of the cut crease before you fill in the eyelid with the rest of the concealer so i'm creating the cut crease shape and then i'll fill it with concealer after i've created the cut crease sheet so that image you're seeing there is the concealer that i'm using which is the nyx hd studio concealer and then now i'm just going to so now i'm just going to put the eyeshadows on the cut crease and we're going to start with this beautiful purple shade it's a shiny shade it's not uh, very matte uh, so I'm just going to dab it in the outer corner of the cut crease and make sure that I blend it in to create a gradient effect together with the black one. And then now for the main color of the cut crease, I'm going to apply that gold eyeshadow. And I'm making sure that I apply it uh, strictly up on the outline of the cut crease such that I don't, you know, smudge it onto the black areas of the cut crease. And then afterwards, I'm just going to use this as, a, as an eye, a waterline liner, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder via, uh, pencil and this is the shade Violet. It's not black much as it looks black, it is actually Violet because I just wanted to match with the Violet at the top. And then now I just went ahead and used some glitter glue which may, afterwards I'm just going to apply glitters on top and as you can see the color of the glitters actually doesn't match the eyeshadow but it still did produce a beautiful beautiful effect i thought it matched the eyeshadow but it didn't but it's fine it turned out well still and then now we just put some black eyeliner and on top of the black eyeliner i'm just going to go in with some eyebrow glue not eyebrow glue sorry eyelash glue uh, just so that i can get a precise line to apply the gold glitters so now it looks like a two-toned eyeliner the black and the gold glitters and then now i'm just going to clean the outer areas with some concealer and proceed to do my face so first i'm going to go in with the illegal pro conceal concealer and cover up any dark spots that are on my face uh pimple marks or anything and apply and then i'm also going to go in with my normal primer which is the makeup revolution pore blur and prime primer and as you can see that's the image of the makeup revolution primer i love that primer it's very powdery and has a very very nice feeling to it it's very smoothening by the way and then now i'm just going to clean my eyebrows at the top because i had not cleaned them i hadn't cleaned the concealer at the top you can always clean your eyebrows immediately you do them 
but I just opted not to clean the top part. And then now we're going to take our concealer, which is the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer. It's a very, very light shade. That's why I opted to apply it before I apply my foundation so that when I apply the foundation on top, it will neutralize the excessive lightness. I'm going to go in with this sleek contour stick. It's usually a bit difficult to apply uh, that contour stick, but it's the contour stick that I currently have. So I'm just going to blend that in with a brush and then followed by a damp beauty blender just to create a really, really smooth finish. And now we're going to go in with this skin tint by L'Oreal. Uh, it's, a, it's a true match skin tint. And I could have gone one shade darker with this skin tint, but it's fine. It still works. And then I'm going to go in with some setting powder by Black Opal and just blending it in. Uh, basically baking it fast before I will blend it and then now it's time to do our lips and for lips I'm just going to use a black pencil I normally tell you if you're not patient enough to blend a black pencil don't use a black pencil because if you have harsh lines with a black pencil it looks really really awful so I'm going to blend in the pencil first and then afterwards apply some lipstick and for lipstick I think I will choose a maroon lipstick uh, that also is glossy this is by revlon and it's a really glossy i love this lipstick the only downside to this lipstick is that it does transfer um so it, it it's sticky so it will transfer but it feels comfortable on the lips and it does shine and now we're going to remove the excess powder add a little bit of blush and highlighter though that's not necessary because this look in itself stands out the lips are bright the eyes are bright so i feel like adding blush would be too much but i still went ahead and added some blush and then some highlighter and we are still using our usual nyx highlighter in the shade gold golden hour yeah i believe yeah so it, it, it's the the nyx hourglass highlighter and now this is the finished look perfect look for an evening out really beautiful really stunning really gorgeous minimum effort but just beautiful not really minimum effort but it's not hard in short yeah so go ahead and subscribe and thank you for watching bye